Welcome. I am really, really excited to do this video. It's my Tokyo Disney Resort haul. I went, I just came back yesterday with my boyfriend and we had a great time in Japan and I'm about to show you everything that we got. Okay, can you even handle this? You don't, you no, know, you don't even know. You don't even know that you're gonna be able to handle, if you're gonna be able to handle this or not. So I'm gonna start off with a bag that everything, um, where I put everything in. It is this, can you, does it even fit in the camera, like everything? It's the 30th, 35th anniversary of Tokyo Disney Resort, um, more specifically Tokyo Disneyland. And it's got all the characters, like, how cute is this? Let me just... Let's start off with the t-shirts that I got. So this t-shirt I actually wore. Um, my boyfriend and I, we got matching shirts and we wore it when we went to Disneyland. We didn't see this over at Tokyo Disney Sea. So we started off the day actually at Tokyo Disney Sea. We bought a full day ticket for Tokyo Disney Sea. And um, because they don't have park hopper tickets in Japan, not technically. Um, what I had to do was buy the one day ticket for Tokyo Disney Sea, and then buy what is called an um, after six passport for Tokyo Disneyland. After six is exactly what it sounds like. You get to go in to either park um, after 6 p.m. And the parks both close at 10 p.m. So you got four hours and I can go. So it was a good deal. Um, we got to cover both parks in one day. And let's go into the, there's a lot of stuff, so I need to get going. This is the second item. This is the t-shirt. The happy as a rainbow t-shirts that they have at Tokyo Disney Resort. So cute. There's the back. This was 2,300 yen. Not a bad price for like a t-shirt from a Disney Resort. Um, I've always wanted this shirt ever since I saw it. Um, when it was online, when people were wearing it, I was, I've, I've been so jelly everyone. And now I have it and everyone else can be jelly of me. And this also I saw, um, I think I saw this first with um, Patrick Dougal. He's um, a great YouTuber who does Disney. Um, sometimes he has videos with his boyfriend. It's so cute. Um, anyway, go check out his channel. I love it. But I saw him with this and I had to get it. It says Tokyo Disneyland in Katakana. And on the back, there is the year that Tokyo Disneyland started, 1983, Tokyo Disneyland. Oh, and this is something interesting you guys should know. In Japan, all the sizes run really small. So this double L size is basically their version of an extra large. Now, you have to remember, you have to go one size up for everything in Japan. So a double L, which is their extra large, is more like a large here. I'm gonna say it's slightly smaller than an American size large, but um, it fits fine. I'm gonna love it, I'm gonna enjoy it. That is wonderful. Oh my gosh, this next thing I absolutely love. I don't know. My boyfriend got this. It's from Sinbad's Voyage or whatever the attraction is over at Tokyo Disney Sea on the Arabian Coast. This is Chandu. He's so cute. He's the little tiger that um, accompanies Sinbad through all of his adventures. And it's a little um, purse, basically, for your... Um, IC card, so your train ticket, your Disney passport if you have it, you put it in there and then you just touch and you can go. It's also a little purse, so it's, there's, a, there's a little pocket inside. And then the good thing about this is it has a strap, but it also has a little cord, like a pull and release cord. So you can just kind of snap it onto your bag and you just pull it instead of having to use a strap. So that is so cute, I love it. He cannot wait to take this to Disneyland and wear it with his Disneyland 
Tokyo Disneyland shirt that he got. Here's something else that he got, which I think you can get here at the parks, but um, it's rose gold Mickey Mouse ears. Can you see that? It's so sparkly. It's so sparkly, see? But what he had done was he asked a cast member to take the bow off so he can wear it without the bow. And it is just as cute, you guys. Look at this. So cute. But yeah, he looked adorable in this. He wore it all day. But tell me if it's available here in the parks. We haven't had our annual passes for the Disneyland Resort in a couple of months, so we're not sure. Um, honestly, I used to be the biggest Disney person. I used to know everything about every, anything Disney, but lately I've been kind of out of the loop, so maybe you guys can get me up to see. Now, here's not anything that we bought, but these are the bags that we have at Tokyo Disney right now. And because there are two different promotions going on, we have Disney Halloween showcase on this bag. This bag features the Halloween um, motif they have over at Disneyland, which is it's more like a ghost and haunted mansion thing. And this bag features the Disney Sea um, version of their Halloween celebration, which focuses more on the villains. So I don't know if you can see that, but isn't that cute? So the bag is double-sided. The other side showcases the happiest celebration, 35th anniversary of Tokyo Disneyland. Isn't that cute? The artwork on this is so cute, you guys. And then um, they also have an app for an app for new outfits they have for the Tokyo Disney Resort. Um, but I think it's only downloadable um, in the Japanese like, iTunes or Google Play Store. So I don't think you can download it here, which is kind of a shame. I don't know why they do that. Um, anyway, let's move on. Oh, I guess I can show you this. So this is the guide map for Tokyo Disneyland. I think. I think this is the Disneyland one. Let's see. Oh, no, this is for Tokyo Disney Sea. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. 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 This is nice because it shows you all the seasonal offerings that they have. Um, I don't even know if this is focusing on the camera right now, but yeah, it's great because it'll show you everything that's going on. You can go specifically to the stores that offer all the Halloween merchandise. Speaking of which, we have this souvenir mug cup. Isn't that cute? Let me see if it'll... Hopefully it's focused. You can see the whole design. So this we got with like a pumpkin mousse that they sold at the Sweetheart Cafe. Um, here, I'll just hold it there for a while. And the pumpkin mousse was really good at Disneyland. They have the same type of thing, um, the pumpkin mousse in the mug over at Tokyo Disney Sea. And I felt like the mousse over in Tokyo Disney Sea was not as good as the one in Tokyo Disneyland. So this is, they give you this mug for free. I think it, the, I think they're like, 980 yen for the mousse and the mug so it's such a great deal because you get this cute souvenir in addition to having a delicious snack um i mean tokyo disney just has their merchandising on point so this is the um, mug for the tokyo disney side see like i said they are featuring the villains more heavily there's mickey and minnie with um Maleficent, the Evil Queen, Captain Hook. Other side, we've got Hades and Ursula. So cute. So cute. Such a good deal. Uh, I always try to get these when I go to Tokyo Disney Resort because they're compact, but they're also like a nice quality um, souvenir um, to remember the specific um, celebration that they have going on when you go. Oh. These I'm really excited about. So in addition to the um, Halloween campaigns going on at both parks and the 35th anniversary going on at Tokyo Disneyland, they have this Halloween sweets um, deal going on. I don't know if you can see the design on that, but it's like little marshmallow or like meringue Mickeys and Minis and they're like ghosts. Um, they have this campaign going on too. So this set of merchandise you can get at both parks. These are friction pens. These are erasable ballpoint paint pens, which are great. Um, friction spelled F-R-I-X-I-O-N. These are wonderful. I use them all the time. Um, so I was really happy to see these. Um, and I was happy that I was able to get something from the Halloween Sweet series. Um, that they are featuring in Tokyo Disney Resort right now because of the Halloween celebration. Oh, speaking of Halloween, 
can you guess who this is? It's um, it's a ear a headband. They call them katushas in Japan, um, and it's Ursula. So my boyfriend got this also to wear. He got this one first, and then he got the rose gold ones. But I think they're both cute. They're so adorable. I love it. I love it. Um, oh, speaking of Ursula, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a hoarder because I really have no business keeping this. But this is actually um, the wrapper that they gave us at Sebastian's Calypso Kitchen at the Mermaid Lagoon in Tokyo Disney Sea. It is actually meant to hold your sandwich inside the wrapper so that you don't have all the sauces dripping all over you as you eat the sandwich. I didn't realize that this was there until the last minute, but that's what this is. And I thought the design was so cute that I had it. I have a couple of men's boxer briefs. They have a whole slew of these and I really wanted to get all of them but I could I mean I only had so much space and they're 1600 yen each oh this one's 1600 yen it's like a neon Donald and this one's 1400 yen it features like an all over Chippendale design and this is another Halloween sweets item that I got at the Sweetheart Cafe over at Tokyo Disneyland. And I, I kind of forgot about this, but this came with a muffin. So I think it was also about 1,000 yen. You get the muffin and you get this cute little plate. I mean, it is adorable. It is the size of like a bread and it features um, Chip and Dale's little ghosts, little cookie bat, some making mini pumpkin action going on there and even the back even this kind of you're never going to notice it type of logo is so cute i mean they put so much attention to detail and everything at tokyo disney resort and i feel like disneyland has been stepping their game up um, in respects to merchandising and how they do things so maybe they're taking some cues from tokyo disney resort um oh this is another kind of freebie it's like a kid's little cup um, it's flounder. This was also part of the special set that they have at um, Sebastian's Calypso Kitchen. Um, you got this free when you got one of the mousse desserts. Um, yeah, so that was fun. Oh, and I'm really excited about this. It's a little Tomika of the Disneyland, uh, Tokyo Disney Resort monorail. This was 1200 yen with all the Fab Five on the side of the monorail. Like, how adorable is that? So cute. And Tomikas are such great quality. Um, they're like um, Matchbox or Hot Wheels, but it's like the Japanese version. But Tomika is so detailed. Um, <laughs> this isn't really a souvenir. It's, um, it's my hoard. On display so this container which features the art little green aliens from Toy Story this container um, had the little green um, alien mochis uh, that have the chocolate custard strawberry custard and um, custard custard inside the green mochis they're really cute you've seen tons of um, YouTube videos on them I'm sure but I'm such a hoarder that I had to bring the container back from Japan that's my um, problem. It's not yours, so let's deal with it, shall we? Okay, I'm excited about this. It's a bath towel. I'm not going to open it up. I'm just going to show you what the design is. So it's got the 35th um, Happy Celebration motif uh, sublimated on the towel, featuring Minnie and Mickey right there. And I also got another one for the Tokyo Disney Sea Hauling going on. These were 3,300 yen each. I mean, oh, this one was 3,400 yen. The Tokyo Disney one. Was. Tokyo Disney Sea was 3,300. I don't know why they would need to have a price difference because they're so good. Now, when we were there, they were giving out free samples for this new item that they had. It's a new snack. By the way, 
their snack section in japan it's customary to give omiyage which basically means gift um to people once you get back from wherever you went to on your trip so in japan it's customary to get like snacks as gifts as omiyage so they have a whole store dedicated to like cutely packaged snacks um, and desserts and like rice crackers um in tokyo disneyland and also tokyo disney sea one room is dedicated just for the merchandise and the other room is dedicated just for the cash wrap so it's like a whole room full of registers and a queue just to buy all these snacks at the end of the day those stores are a madhouse um yeah and this was one of the new items that they had it's such cute packaging look it's the seven dwarves oh i should, I should put it up and this blew our minds when we when they were giving out free samples for this it's an apple and white chocolate biscuit look how cute this packaging is I mean, it's so cute. Right? Right? It's so delicious. All right. Oh my God, smell it. Comfort. Look at that. That's the thing. Um, this sweatshirt, come on. This is so cute. This was 3,900 yen basically about $35 good great quality sweatshirt beautiful cute design featuring like a retro Disney cast with a thick overdrawn outlines I love this it is so cute um, we wanted to get these button-down shirts that came in the same motif but they didn't have it they only had it up to size L which is more like an adult medium here so um, I'm, I was glad that they had this sweatshirt um, because I really wanted something from that series of merchandise. And the last thing I'm going to tell you about is what I'm most excited about. So they have these carnival games that you could play over at Tokyo Disney Sea in the Arabian Coast area. And basically, um, we played a version of ski ball, basically. And if you got the balls into the certain holes, you got the big prize, which was like a Mickey or Minnie plushy that was so cute it was like a marshmallow ghost mickey or mini um but i was okay if we lost because it would, each play is 500 yen and if you win you get the big prize which is the mickey or mini plush but if you lose you still get a prize you get one of these pins and what we did was basically we played the game two times each and we lost all four times so each time we got to pick out one of these pins so this is the basically a pin version of the Minnie Mouse Marshmallow Ghost that was the big prize. And this is the other one that we got, the Figaro pin. Isn't that cute? So cute. And then, oh wait, where's um, where's the other one? Where did the other one go? Oh no. Oh, I'm sitting on it. Um, there's Chip and Dale wearing cute ghost outfits so these were the booby prizes you get booby prizes for these games and these are great i would love to lose if i could get prizes like this all the time um so yeah and every season they have different prizes and i didn't know this but they also have these games over on the adventureland side at disneyland and there they were giving out these um like clips they can like zipper pulls almost but they were made out of cloisonne um and you know if we offered something like this people would line up for hours to play these games and the lines for these games are pretty long but um it was worth it um and you know what we have come to the end of this tokyo disney resort haul i hope you enjoyed this video if you did um, i'm going to post some other hauls from our japan trip i'm going to do a japanese snack haul video and also a ufo catcher japanese crane game haul video as well those will be coming up soon in addition to multiple toriba unboxings that i have to do i have all these toriba boxes that are sitting in my living room 
um, collecting dust that I need to open. So if you um, want to find out when those are going to come out, just go ahead and subscribe, click the like button, um, ask me questions if you have any questions about the Tokyo Disney Resort. I'm no expert by any means, but um, I just know that I have a passion for it, so I would love to talk to you guys about it. Alright, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you again soon. Bye!